Tonight's headlines, I tap to discuss possibility of alert level zero status. Philippines keeps $12.7 billion chopper deal with Russia. SARA urges special session of Congress on price hikes. Philippines looking to open borders to all foreign tourists by April. Sheer line Amihan to bring cloudy skies and rains. Suns beat heat to seal NBA playoff berth. And stocks improve PESA on sideways. Good evening. Today is Thursday, March 10, 2022. I'm Miguel Faltagonan and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Health Secretary Francisco Duque III said Thursday the government is now studying the possibility of further easing the country's COVID-19 status to alert level zero, with several areas now alert level one. Duque said the country has recorded less than 8,000 cases daily for six consecutive days, while the National Capital Region and 38 more areas nationwide are still under the lowest level until March 15. He also pointed out that elements of Alert Level 0 will still be discussed by the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases, along with other government advisors. Presidential Advisor for Entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion earlier said that the alert level system should gradually be eased out if the threat of Omicron variant of COVID-19 abates. The Department of National Defense disclosed that the Philippines will proceed with the acquisition of 17 helicopters from Russia despite the latter's conflict with Ukraine. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana said the deal and initial payment for the project were made even before the start of the crisis in Ukraine. The contract price for the 17 helicopters is $12.7 billion. The delivery is expected in two years. To recall, some countries have imposed sanctions while several companies have boycotted Russia after it invaded Ukraine. Lorenzana said the fulfillment of the compliances and deliveries under the contract would defend on, will depend on Russia. Vice presidential candidate and Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio on Thursday called on President Rodrigo Duterte to call a special session on, of Congress to address the rising cost of fuel and its impact on the prices of commodities. The, price, the vice presidential bet said she and her standard bearer, former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., are calling for suspension of the excise tax, excise tax on fuel to ease the burden on operators and drivers of public transport. She added that Congress should help the executive department in determining the measures that should be enforced to help Filipinos in this crisis as lawmakers have pushed for the suspension of excise tax on fuel products. The palace, for its part, urged Congress to review the oil deregulations law, particularly the provisions of un on unbundling the price and the inclusion of the minimum inventory requirements in the law. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Katribu, tara na't makiisa at matuto sa mga public service programs hatid ng Kalingang Katribu. Tuwing lunes, nandyan ang usapang business na magbibigay tips at inspirasyon sa mga aspiring entrepreneurs kasama si Vernon Velasco. Tuwing Merkules, usapang pangkulusugan naman ang tatalakay ni Ms. Cory Quirino sa health and wellness. At tuwing Biyernes naman, kung legal advice ang kailangan mo, 
Sagot ka na ng Legal Diaries kasama si Elmer Navarro Manuel at mga guest lawyers. Lahat ng niya mapapanood tuwing alas 13.30 ng hapon sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. In other news, the Philippines is looking at the possibility of opening its borders to all foreign tourists by April, with the country only currently accepting travelers from visa-free countries. Tourism Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat said that the Department of Tourism is optimistic that the government will approve the proposal to accept foreign tourists from all countries by next month. The Philippines started to accept tourists from 157 visa-free countries last month and has since welcomed 73,178 tourist arrivals from February 10 to March 8, which was surprising given that arrivals were initially expected to come in June. Most of the tourists so far have been coming from the United States, Canada, Korea, Australia, Japan, Germany, and Vietnam. Foreign tourists from visa-free countries are required to present a negative COVID-19 RT-PCR test result taken 48 hours before their trip, along with their proof of vaccination for them to be allowed entry to the Philippines. State Weather Bureau Pag-asa announced that the shear line or the tail end of the frontal system will bring cloudy skies with rains over the eastern sections of southern Luzon and Visayas, while the northeast monsoon or Amihan will affect northern and central Luzon. Visayas, Caraga, northern Mindanao, Zamboanga Peninsula, Bicol Region, Mimaropa, and Quezon will experience cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms with possible flash floods or landslides due to the moderate to at times heavy rains. Cagayan Valley and Aurora will have cloudy skies with light rains. The Ilocos Region and Cordillera Administrative Region will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated light rains. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms with possible flash floods or landslides due to moderate to at times heavy rains. In sports, Devin Booker returned from a four-game absence to Power Phoenix over Miami 111-90 on Wednesday in a matchup of conference leaders, clinching an NBA playoff burst for the Suns. Booker, back after being sidelined by COVID-19 protocols, scored a game-high 23 points, passed off 9 assists, pulled down 8 rebounds, made 2 steals, and blocked 2 shots for the visitors, who improved to a league-best 53-13. The triumph was important to the Suns, who lost 123-100 to to Miami at Phoenix on January 8. Mikael Bridges added 21 points for Phoenix, while Bahamas big man DeAndre Ayton contributed 19 points and 10 rebounds. Duncan Robinson led Miami with 22 points. The Heat were without star Jimmy Butler, out with sinus congestion. And in business, both the Philippine Stock Exchange Index and Peso closed Thursday, Thursday, trading with gains as global oil prices cooled off. The PSEI ended the day improving by 1.92% or 134.92 points to 7,124.80 at the closing bell. The broader oil shares increased by 1.38% or 51.47 points closing at 3,783.82. Rehina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Timlingan said that Philippine shares posted sharp gains as the recently surging commodity prices, especially oil, cooled off while the, raw, while the war in Ukraine continues. Meanwhile, the Philippine peso closed this day's trading at 52.15 to US dollar. It slightly improved by 0.08 from Wednesday closing of 52.23 to a dollar. That wraps up the stories tonight. Before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, the Department of Tourism, MG Motors, Hina Motors, Security Bank, Empire East Lands Holding Incorporated, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Miguel Paltagonon, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. 
Good night and God bless us all. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Oh, vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation with vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magandang araw mga katribo! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelevelo, Atty. Lia Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha at Chirk Balagtas. Abangan ang programang Gising Na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Ilabas na ang mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaari nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ang inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribunal sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga. At magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. Download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS and Google Play for Android to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune invites you to join its vibrant community, Katribu, to get updates on the hottest news on politics, business, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. Emoticons of the Tribune mascot, Tarsito, are available on our community Viber. 